from the get-go we've with Janus, our goal has been to make a production vehicle, not chopping up somebody else's work, but making it from scratch the way we want it. Um, so it's, it's easy to write off people in the trades as like, oh, they couldn't make it through college or something. And that's something that I think is just such a misconception. We aren't creating anything new, but yet we've managed to make something so unique. You know, there is this sort of craze for all things retro right now. That's great, you know, we'll, we'll cash in on that. There's, this is not an attempt to make an old bike over again. They're not a throwback. Um, I mean, plenty of people, you know, one of the most common things we hear is, oh, it's so old school, you know, and you can tell they're like spelling it with a K, you know, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> it's really just like what you've learned is what a motorcycle, a good looking motorcycle should look like, I think. And this, they don't have to have all this plastic and rollover and like that. So that's an interesting point I always think about that they may be retro, but it's not our prime goal. What do you do if you have a degree in literature and architecture and a passion for small engines? You start Janus Motorcycles. We're up in Goshen, Indiana to take a look at how they're taking the past and present and making motorcycles, they're as much about craftsmanship is they are creativity. Let's go check it out. My initial love of design, actually I think probably before I started drawing buildings and stuff like that was uh, cars. I drew cars nonstop as a child. Um, I just loved it and had my own brand and the logo designed. Scuderia Gardini was the uh, <laughs> name of my car company. I would draw a lot, I also drew a lot of architectural kinds of things. My father is also is, is an architect um, and an architectural historian. So I be, obviously I grew up using CAD. I, I was like, I wanna learn how to use this. <laughs> and I was, the first thing I started designing, interestingly enough, were suspension systems. And I didn't know what I was doing, but I was trying to figure out how to make it animated and like coming up with like a, you know, a double wishbone car type suspension. But my first moped, which I will define here for you all, a scooter is a Vespa, and I step through floorboards, and a moped is like really what most motorcycles today come from. But anyway, uh, I bought a Gorelli. It was a top tank, which means it was like a motorcycle. It looked like a small motorcycle, and that's really what interested me. I was not interested in motorcycles, um, like a Harley Davidson, just didn't, it didn't captivate my interest. You could work on them yourself, they're simple and you could tinker on them without being an expert. So I had one of those and, I, and then when I came out to Indiana, I went to Notre Dame um, for architecture degree, brought my moped with me. That was my only transportation. If I had known much about South Bend Winters, I would have <laughs> rethought very quickly. <laughs> Met my business partner um, who I founded Janus with, uh, Devin Beek, through the vintage mopeds because he ran a shop. So the two of us uh, had a lot of fun with mopeds, and then we, and then in the summer, I started just working at his shop with him, doing kind of customizing bikes, and that's really where we started thinking about manufacturing and not customizing. From the get-go, we've with Janus, our goal has been to make a production vehicle, not chopping up somebody else's work, but making it from scratch the way we want it. Nice. This is our little piece of turf here, and we call it the Janus World Headquarters. <laughs> so this is our showroom. Um, it was, as I say, a dry cleaner. That's the little drive-up window and the vault for the furs. Also, you can see there's a kind of a wall of some of the uh, design yeah, history yeah, awesome. we've gone through. Up here um, on the wall, oh, wow, that's the very that? first Janus. Over the first three years of the company, we made about 40 of those. No kidding. The thing that's pretty much interested me all along is how we can make new things that are uh, informed by the past. Engineering, so let's say, it's just, it's just kind of like race to discover the next thing. What we're here doing with, with Janus is not a uh, state of the art. It is not, and we're not reinventing the wheel or anything like that. You know, this is a very simple, very straightforward design. I mean, the engine design is basically started in 1972 um, with very little change. Um, and that, but that's because we're interested in the experience of riding that thing. I have four assembly stands. Um, right now they're all Halcyons being built on the stands. Oh. And you can see that color is very popular. Oh yeah. Um, the tag in the front, like for people who don't understand what that means, like each one has an individual number. What does, yeah. that, what does that correspond to? It's called the, the number plate or in 
motorcycle world, it's colloquially called the pedestrian slicer. Um, <laughs> okay. But historically, it was used for registration. This was your license plate. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay. Um, and so we've kind of co-opted that license plate and turned it into the serial number of your bike. There's so much skill that goes into this. There's pinstriping, just the the the, the uh, welding, all those things. Um, the 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 assembly these guys are doing. Um, it involves a kind of critical thinking. Like we work with um, these Amish guys. You know the the, the work that they're doing, the tr the cr skilled trades that they're that they're highly proficient in. These are brilliant people. <laughs> like. I don't think I realized it until really sitting down with them just how brilliant they are. Um, so it's, it's easy to write off people in the trades as like, oh, they couldn't make it through college or something. And that's something that I think is just such a misconception. Um, it's one of my favorite parts, our fuel cap. I love looking at these. So this, this is what you know, obviously goes in the top of the tank. There it is for this bike. It's made by a guy down in uh, New Paris, which is oh, if you yeah. look at a map. It's like you probably drove through it on the way yep, up here. Yep, I'm familiar <laughs> with New Paris. Yeah. Um, instead of doing a lot of chroming, we yeah. just use stainless steel. I've noticed uh, that on the bike. So you, it's yeah. not just covered in chrome, like yep. yeah. So what, the parts that you see that are shiny, like this, that's stainless steel. That's just been polished. There's right. There's no plating involved. Oh wow. Okay. Because you'd have to polish it anyway before you plate it. Right. So we just invest a little more in the material, and then it won't rust. Nice. Um, wow. Here's all our leather work. This is made by a Amish fellow who does um, no harness work. What? So he does all of our bags. This is our uh, redwood, desert brown, and black. And the seats, they look very simple when you see them oh, yeah. like this, but then they get installed and they turn into this amazing huh. uh, shape. You know, we were talking about how like all these different trades of people who like mm -hmm. we take for granted, like somebody made this. There's so many opportunities for someone to use skills that they've learned or have been tr passed on to them through their, you know, maybe their father or grandfather taught them how to, you know, use a saw or something like that. You can take those and create um, beautiful works of art or products or, or a company even through, you know, being dedicated to it. And I think that's probably the one thing that <laughs> why we're still here is mainly just perseverance. Richard, thanks so much. I mean, for letting us see just like a glimpse of the creativity and innovation. I mean, I think what I love seeing is that you, with your background, you know, you got this experience with literature and architecture and your love for design, like all of it coming together with like the trades. It's just really cool to see how you guys are making something so unique up here. Well, thanks for featuring us.